Hello, 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 everybody. This is Dr. Shneva Earl, your craft doctor. And I'm here with my next video. And I'm trying to turn this mic on. I keep forgetting. Ugh. Get closer. So I have a small haul from uh, HSN. This was from the... I think this is some auto ships and uh, a couple of one thing from diamond press so it's very small because i haven't gotten everything in but i wanted to do some examples so i'm going to show you what i got the first thing is these um embossing folders uh, i think these embossing folders are super cute these are the ones where you cut out the emboss piece and you add the wording in with it the uh anna griffin has i can't pronounce what's the name of these um cartouche uh, car touchy or two i don't know how to pronounce this something car touch whatever anyway they're the backing part if you can see that you cut out the backing piece um for your actual uh sentiments so you can really use any sentiment that will fit in this um, size label that she has from any of her kits. Let's see if I can find. Um, okay, so this one is the Christmas kit. Let's see if I can find the. So see, these are the sentiments. And so <clears throat> I pre-cut them out. Um, I cut them. Which one did I cut out? Um, I don't, I don't remember. Uh, this one must have been this one because this is this kind of shape that way. Yep, this one. So I cut this one out and I cut it out in my marquee. So I did not cut it out in my, uh, Empress machine, which is what I want to do. So I have the plates, and I'm so mad I missed the sale on the plates. Um, but what I want to cut it out with is glitter paper, because glitter paper seems to be a pain to cut. So, ugh. a couple of a couple of few whatever years ago, Craft Companion had all of these glitter papers. Um, and all the colors for sale and I bought them and I haven't been using them but I'm gonna break them out because I need to start using up all of the stuff in my craft room because I have too much stuff okay so I'm going to I want to cut out which one I want to cut out I'll, I'll just cut this one since it's sitting right here Okay, I want to see if it's really going to, oh wait, if it's really going to cut this um, glitter paper. So I'm using uh, my Empress machine and I think that I might do it twice just to stay on the same side. Um, it's getting caught, that's why. One, one, I got um my lazy Susie, the big one from Totally Tiffany. I bought all three of them, and I used the big one to hold the Empress machine because it's so heavy. Okay, so let's see what did we get here. Did it work, or did it not work? Okay, look. It didn't work. Yeah, it did, but it worked. It needs a probably a shim because this glitter, glitter paper period has a coating that really causes a problem. But you can see it's really not um, embossed that much on it, but it's still cute. Still cute. 
Okay, so let's try another color and I'll cut it out with the other one and I'll add a shim to it. How about that? Um, let's see what color can I get. Because I have all the colors over here. Okay, here goes some gold. Oh, no, here goes some purple. Here goes some purple. Let's... Do this again so I use this these two so I'm just gonna use this one this time and let's cut out this piece I'm going to slide this baby in here. Try not to be wasteful with this paper. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my other plates. I need to just invest in a whole new set of plates. So I have, these are the real plates that go to it. And something telling me if I add that, it might just do better. Um, just adding a little extra force may help it just do better. Okay, let's run it through. Because I did run it through twice. Cord always gets stuck on here. Okay, let's run it through one more time. I'm gonna run it through the long way this time. I would, I mean the short way, because I ran it through the long way the last time, just to see where we at. Okay. Let's see if this helped with the force. Um, look like. It did not. Well, yeah, it did. It helped a little bit more. Um, I ran it through twice, and it didn't really still didn't do much of an impression, but I think it's because this is such a thick, and the glitter, it just won't let it happen. But this is cute. Okay, so this is that what these are. All three of these. Okay. And what you do is, um, I think these are all approximately one inch. Let's see here. No, they're a little bit more than one inch, but I think the square in the middle is one inch. So you would take something like this. And you know what I usually do is... When I need some extra sentiments, what I do is I un I take this loose very slowly. I peel it apart because it's really like having more than one. Even though you can't, there's plenty of dies that's this small that you can cut and emboss and put in in this. But look, look how that looks. Super cute. Super cute. Come on. There we go. See, that really does something to it. Um, because this could actually go in there also. Because it's actually the, almost the same size. So you could take both of those and put that in there like that. So that is exactly what I would probably do because if I'm not mistaken, this is a one inch punch or maybe a one and a half. Um, one and yeah, it's like one and a, mm, yeah, one and a half or one and a quarter ish, about a one and a quarter punch. And this has to be one 
I'm sure. Okay, so it's no, it's not. It's this is one and a quarter. This is one, and these are two. Nope, that's one and three fourths. So it's still a quarter of an inch difference. So you, if you have a one inch punch, a one and a quarter, or one and a half. I'm sorry, one and one and a quarter. Get it together, Shaniva. One and a quarter, one and a half, one and three fourths. These all will fit just like that. It'll fit right on top of each other. Where's the gold one? I thought I had. Oh, here it is. So see, it'll fit perfect just like that. So I think I have punches of this size. Let me see. See, something like this is what we'll be looking at. So that'll be the this uh this one. Yep. So a punch, this punch like this. See if we can punch it. This punch right here would mat in there with your like that. So you got some room if you have these punches. So this is a one and a half scallop. So you can really dress these up really well. So I would say um, use all of the paper, use pearlescent paper, um, and dress them up really, really well, okay? And use your punches to uh, go in with them, okay? Because I, I do have a, a one-inch punch that goes with this, okay? So that is those. Um, I'm not sure where that one-inch punch is. It's somewhere around here. And if not, I have dies. Okay, so this goes back in here. Okay, then next, what we're going to see, I know I have to clean up as I go, or stuff will be everywhere, because I just cleaned up, semi-cleaned up my room. It's still a mess, but at least everything's in its place. It's just a lot of stuff for this little bitty room. Okay, so then next we have, this is an auto ship, <clears throat> the 3D, Romantic frame auto ship. Okay. Never do. It ever do. <laughs> it never does it. Okay. So this is the 3D. I don't remember having these, ordering these, but I had to because I have the auto ship. Um, I think what I do is when she say we have an auto ship, I just kind of be like, okay, I'm going to order it. Instead of... Um, Knowing that I have 50,000 Anna Griffin frames, I still ordered a new one on auto ship. Even though my auto ships are dwindling because of my hiatus, I didn't buy stuff for months. Okay, so this is a 3D romantic. It's so cute. Okay, so <clears throat> let's cut this out. But let's cut this out in some pearless paper. We'll stay with our purple theme since it's sitting right on the top. We'll do some pearl paper. Let's see if this piece is big enough. And this, again, is that Crafters Companion Luxury Card Stock. Be big enough. Of course you're not big enough. Why wouldn't you? Why would you? Because I need you to be. Okay. So we'll just do this. And... Cut a piece. Like this. And do we want to make this? We want to cut this out. We're supposed to take it away from the die. Okay. So we want to put this like this. And does this fit on this long skinny ones? I think it do. Oh, it fits on the. I don't think it fits. Oh, 
it might just fit. Okay. Looks like it might not. No, it don't. It don't. It don't fit on this place. System. Okay. It fits with this. <clears throat> And I generally use this self-healing mat. It's about time for a new one. Okay, so we're going to put this on here like that. And then I got some tape that I can tape this down. It's right there. And then in order to make this a frame, we're going to take this piece and put this in there because we want it to be a frame. Okay. All right. Now we'll take this. And this will cut out good because it's not, it don't have that thick coating like the glitter paper do. So this would be okay. And I don't have to run that through. Oh, that, that looks cute by itself. Okay, so let's take this off. And look how beautiful that is. Look how beautiful this frame is. Look at that. Yeah, that's beautiful. And this piece is beautiful too. Okay, so that's this frame. It's called the Romantic. And it really is romantic looking. I like it. I do like it. So we're going to be able to make some cute things with this. And then, of course, it has the matte layer that we can make. The matte layer for this. Okay. Um, that is this one right here. Okay, let's slide this back in here. You know what? Let's not, because it's annoying me. I have these that I get off Amazon. Okay. Put that in there, and that in there. I did order um, the Gemini uh, Mini, and I ordered it not because I needed a die, another die machine. I needed a, another die machine like I needed anything else. But when I go places and I need to do Anna Griffin stuff, and I don't want to take my Alexa machines, because sometimes when you go to crops, that noise is annoying from all those machines, and so I don't take it. I don't take the bigger machines. I take my, you know, my winding machine, like if I'm doing a Friday night crop or something. And plus, sometimes you don't have electricity or whatever. Um, it's six by nine. And so it's much um, a bigger surface, even though um, they, they cut out about the same. Oh, that's garbage. They cut out about the same. But I am... I did buy it. I did not make it for my tag swap. They are due on the 23rd, which is Wednesday, two days from now. And so I'm going to have to make sure that I do this next year. But the Stamplistic class was fabulous on, um, it was really fabulous on Friday. And I just seen the bag. I had the stuff in there. Um, I'll have to show y'all those cards later. Okay, so let's open this last thing. And this was an, uh, 
the new Diamond Press um, chocolate box. And I did this, I got this one because V&A is an enabler. And when I watch her videos, it make me want to watch get it because I was like I'm not getting that I don't need that until I seen her do hers and I was like I just gotta get it it's so pretty she did such a fabulous job and so I will definitely when I do my diamond month of diamond press um I think it might be February when I do the month of diamond press I'm gonna do this okay <clears throat> okay so let's let's see what this is got going for it diamond press has oh my god this stuff is just getting better and better in my opinion and i think it's mainly because stuff is getting bigger and bigger and not the, the tiny ones because i never bought anything from diamond press from when they were really small um okay so it's called the chocolate box and these are the instructions and i love that they include this now um it shows how if you die cut this plus the stamp it equals this or this or this or however this is working out depends on which stamp you use um, on the chocolate that with the dye will make those two those two this one that one and so on then they have the bow you stamp the bow and then you include the long strip which is a stamp here and that is super cute i love that is that um a die for that no, there's no die for that. It's just a stamp. But you really don't need a die for it because um you can cut that out just however this is. You can just cut it out. Because it's just a ribbon. It's just a length of ribbon. And so you can cut it out. Um, and you can use real ribbon or you can use, um, cause this is considered a ribbon stamp and you fold it over and crease it where it needs to go. Um, I love that they have a bow included. Look at this pretty bow. That's one of the things that won me over. And then the strawberries, it gives you a lot of things to color, um, which is going to be really nice. Okay. And then it has sentiments to go with it. And see, this is what I was talking about. The ribbon. You just cut the strips to whatever the size it needs to be, that kind of thing. And it's going to really look really pretty. And you just, this is just one paper look like to me. It's done on pink paper. And then you put the candies in the boxes. Super cute. And so, of course, you get your folder. I have so many of those folders because I bought them. And um, you can use these in the midi too by using a purple shim. Okay, so this is the dyes, which makes the chocolates, which I think this can pair with my Stampin' Up. Nothing better than, because it has chocolates and teas and drinks and stuff. And it's about the same size, I think. Yeah, like the cookies are the same size. The drinks are the same size. So I think this will really look you know, it'll look really good with it. It'll go well with it. I love this stamp set. I need to do some stuff with it. Okay. So I want to do something with this. The first thing that I want to do is I really want to stamp. I really want to stamp out the bow. Um, And it, there's dies to it. So this is what makes the box. Um, and lid, actually, I think this can make a box lid, um, or cover of some type, but this is what will be, the, you put the chocolates in this here. Um, if you build it up, you can make it into looking like a box, a box of, of chocolates. All you have to do is put, um, some, what you call it around, can't think of what it's called. Um. Pop dots. Okay, so I have this red that's sticking out. Um, it is this. This is some pearless, pearless paper. And I want to cut out this. I want to stamp the bow and cut it out on this pearl paper. So let's see.
Okay, so let's put this in here. One thing that I do love about um, using this stamping platform, there is the no, it's no ends, so I don't have to cut my paper if I don't have to. That's the part I like about this. Okay, so I got some memento right here, and I'm not going to do a whole project. I just really want to see what this is going to look like. Um, I think these are polymer stamps. If they're not, they're very good acrylic. Uh, Diamond Crest stamps are usually pretty good. Okay. Oh, 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 that's beautiful. Do I need to bring that down a little bit more? That's that down. Is that okay? And I think this memento probably needs to uh, to dry. I'm just looking for my heat guns. Because they're never around when I need them. I have two of them. I'm looking at them right now. But they're on, on one of them is on the other side of the room. And it's um really high heat. Because I can see the bottom of this is still wet. And it's pearl paper. Okay, so let me just get this heat going. Oh, here it is. I got a, this recollection heat gun because the heat gun I have, I have one that's very, very strong. That heat gun can. Uh, catch your paper on fire is so strong. Let's see. Let's see. See, this one is not too powerful. And it's not that loud, but it's it's heating it up. I mean it's it's um okay, it's dry. Okay. Okay, let's unplug this because I never leave, I should never try to leave any of my stuff on. Ever since I heard that your maker will catch fire. I don't know if it was a rumor or if it was real, but I never leave anything plugged up except my impress machine. And I probably need to stop doing that. Okay. Is anybody else a mess when they craft or is it just me? I have stuff everywhere. <laughs> but I do clean up after each project. I like to clean up after each project so then I'm prepared for the next project. Okay, let's grab this bow. And I just want to see how this is going to do and what is it going to look like. And if I need to probably color it, even though it's on colored paper, you know, I might need to color it. I don't think so. And I still use all warped up folders. It don't bother me because they still work. And that, that cut out perfectly. Look at how pretty that is. Look how pretty that is. Okay, so then when you have something like this and you can see that white, this is just a quick tip about 
um, when you have like that white showing. Take, let's see, take your marker or some paper or something and line it up. I line it up in the air, but you don't, what you can do is you can take something like this and just go around it. You see, I'm on the bottom, so if I make a mistake, I'm not messing up the top of it. So that way, when you look at it, you see, you don't see white anymore. You don't see white anymore. See that? And that's just to get from seeing that, those stark white edges where you cut. And you can do the, or you can take your blender and blend it like that too. It doesn't matter. But this way you don't have to worry about it. <clears throat> and this is garbage. And this goes back in here. So when I get ready to put my chocolates together, I now have a bow. That came from this set that will go on my box and then I'll just make my strip because all this see is is what three fourths three fourths of a yep it's a three fourths inch strip so all I gotta do is put this on the edge like this Put this on the edge and then cut. Oh, you can't see this. Put this on the edge and then cut this out. And then you have a strip. And then wherever you are bending it at, you would score. Wherever your bend is, you would score. Or like this one, this one is scored. This one is just cut across. Okay, so that is the chocolate box. And I will make sure that this will be on my list of things to do when I get ready to do my month, month of diamond press. So the month of diamond press is going to be where I just pull all kinds of random, -y, random diamond press stuff out and just do videos for that month of um, with diamond press stuff. Um, they'll be blended in with other videos because I'm also starting the series, the year of crafts. So if you had a year of crafts, get ready because we're going to start doing the, a year of that. They'll be mixed in with other videos. Um, and I'm going to do the year of flowers because we have so much stuff and we don't use it. We got to get this stuff into rotation. Ooh, nope. I need to put this in here so I'll have it when I get ready to do it. And I'm going to do some team lawn fun. I'm going to take a month and it'll be focused on whatever company it is with a bunch of videos. So this was my small haul from HSN's craft day. Um, I'm waiting for the auto ship of the magazine. So I will have some monthly things to, when, or every two months or however they come in. I'm waiting for my Gemini MIDI to come in and I'm waiting for one other thing. I can't remember. Um, I can't remember what that last thing is, but I'm waiting for something else to ship. So thank you so much for joining me and I will see y'all in the next one.